Well, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to our second Power Hour. For those who don't know me, my name is Tom Gray. I'm the community lead here at Glide. Super excited uh, to have you with us. Uh, just looking at that list of attendees, so wonderful to see so many familiar names as well as some new names joining us today. A big warm welcome from Darren and me and from the rest of the Glide team. In today's Power Hour, we're going to be showing you how to build an app using Airtable, one of Glide's newest data sources. As always, there is a recorded version of this webinar, which will be made available in the coming days. We'll be posting it in our community forum uh, and across our newsletter and socials, so do keep a lookout. Today's session aims to give you some inspiration of the kind of things that you can do with Airtable and Glide. We'll be sharing with you some tips and tricks on getting started, uh, all geared around helping you to fast track your learning and to give you insights on how, when and why to use Airtable uh, and how to get started with templates as well. So the aim is to give you a step-by-step -step live guide on how to connect, configure and leverage Glide uh, to build a beautiful interface on top of their table. Today's agenda will shortly be meeting our wonderful uh, co-host before diving into a live build and keeping with tradition, we'll then close out for a Q&A. Uh, we'll do our very best to get through as many questions as possible. Please do put your questions in the chat and in the Q&A tab here in Zoom. I'm delighted to welcome my wonderful co-host today, Mr. Darren Alderman. Welcome, Darren. What is up, guys? Hello, Tom. Thank you for the welcome. I am thrilled to be here with you all. Oh, wonderful. Uh, if you haven't already met Darren, Darren is uh, one of our leading certified experts and ambassadors. He's got a stunning portfolio of Glide projects and customer success stories, everything from creating games through to robust and powerful apps for work. Uh, Darren's a fantastic educator for all things low code, uh, and he has a, a smashing YouTube channel, which I'd certainly recommend you go and subscribe to. All right, Darren, let's dive in. Many of you are, of course, familiar with Airtable, but if you are totally new to this tool, Airtable is a easy to use low code platform for creating and sharing relational databases. So in layman's terms, uh, Airtable is an easy to use tool that anyone uh, can use to spin up a database in minutes without having to create complex scripting or formulas. So we see there are a lot of businesses using Airtable for an array of different purposes. Uh, commonly, Airtable is used for things like CRM, project and inventory management, event planning, small business accounting. You can store, organize, and collaborate on information for just about anything things such as employee directories and property hunting databases. Now, before we dive into our show and tell, Darren, will you kindly share your thoughts on Airtable superpowers and why it's a great data source when building with Glide? Yes, so I know we have people joining who are familiar with Airtable, maybe not familiar with Glide, with people who are familiar with Glide and not so familiar with Airtable. So from my experience, I thought it was important to kind of call out, you know, what makes Airtable stand out as a data source and why is it such a big deal that now we can integrate Airtable with Glide? So there were three things I thought of that I wanted to call out now and I'll briefly show you if we have time later in this uh, workshop here, but three things that make Airtable stand out. Number one is an out of the box API. So whenever you create a base inside of Airtable, there's an auto-generated API that is just created for you. You don't have to integrate with a third-party service to add rows or get rows from Airtable. Airtable provides that out of the box. The second one was built-in automation. So some of you are probably familiar with Integromat or Zapier or Make. Those are automation platforms. And in other use cases, you have to use those to be able to integrate like a Google sheet with say your website or something. Airtable has automations built in and those are, those are really nice. And then the last thing are customizable views. So when we're thinking about Glide apps, a lot of times we think about building applications on top of spreadsheets and the spreadsheet is, you know, pretty straightforward. You have columns, you have, you have rows. Well, Airtable allows you to add separate views on top of that spreadsheet that allow you to automatically filter things for certain users, 
but you can also turn that spreadsheet into a calendar view or a gallery right within Airtable. And I'll show you how some of that looks in a little bit. Very, very exciting. So that moment has come. This is the fun bit. Uh, excited to see this all in action. How to build a Glide app with Airtable. Darren, over to you. It is my turn and I will share my screen. Thank you for giving me the power. All right, so we are in Airtable right now. I've already logged in, but this is a brand new account. So I'm gonna be building everything from scratch. So when you're starting with Airtable, I wanted to give us kind of a starting point where you could follow along if you wanted to. So there are a ton of use cases like Tom mentioned for building different things in Airtable. So I'm just gonna come over to the templates page here. We can kind of briefly look at all the different use cases that you could use Airtable to power your app for. So here you can see like a content calendar if you're making content for online, tracking your projects, uh, product catalog inventory. In addition, we have all these different uh, um, industries over here that you could use Airtable for. So if you work in HR and recruiting, you could use it for expense tracking or employee onboarding. If you work in real estate, you could use Airtable uh, for tracking site visits or your different properties. But for us, I wanted to kind of level set us and start off with a really simple use case. And there is a template in everyday life that um, I think we'll all be able to find some, um, some love uh, with, and that is a, a pet tracker. So I found this little template for pet medical history. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and use the pets that we love to fall in love with Airtable. So I'm gonna click into that and I'm gonna click on use template. And this is going to copy this template into my workspace um, inside of Airtable. All right, so just to give you all a tour, um, if you're familiar with spreadsheets, Airtable is basically a robust system on top of spreadsheets. So you can see here, we have the spreadsheets we know and love. So we have columns and rows. And Airtable, they call these columns fields, and the fields can have different types. So you can see this is a text type. This image is an attachment type with pictures in it. And then we have like a, a date field. And then we can click into each one of these rows to expand it and view this as like a, a bigger view. And then in addition to this spreadsheet of animals where we have Max, Missy, and Princess, we have other tabs um, or other tables inside of this Airtable base to use the proper terminology. So here we're tracking our pet's medical history. We have vet visits and medication. And then I wanted to call out some other special things about Airtable. So one of the things I mentioned earlier were views. So let me open up the side panel here and we can see different views here. So we have the main view, which is like our base data set. And right below that, I have a view for just dogs. And so this filters my data for just dogs. And I can also do just cats. If we go over to vet visits, we can do more than just filter rows. We can also change the view. So like here is a calendar view of all of my vet visits. And this pulls up a calendar where I can see on the dates, the actual um, vet visits. And this is built in right out of the box. And so you can see down here towards the bottom that Airtable has all types of views. We have the grid, which is like your tra traditional table view, but you can also have forms to add rows to or add data to your Airtable base. We can do the calendar view, which we just looked at. Um, let's go ahead and add in a gallery view, create that. And then now we have a nice little gallery that is focused on all the pictures of all of our data. Sorry oh, to pause. interrupt. I did have a question actually, okay. which was around importing. What if, what if I have a spreadsheet? What if I want to import data into Airtable? So just to show you this, I'm going to download. So we have some sample data. I'm going to download this view as a CSV. So I'll just come to the view here, come to download CSV, and that's gonna export this data into a file. So this is something you can do if you were transitioning from um, Excel or Google Sheets or some other table system database. And then we can take this CSV and then let's, let's go ahead and add it. You can see here where it says add or import. So if you were starting with a fresh 
Airtable base and you wanted to import data, you would just come to import. And then here I can quickly import from CSV, Excel, Google Sheets, more over here. So I'll just, in this case, click on CSV and I'll drag that CSV over. It says, good to go, upload. I want to create a new table, create new, oh wait, there we go. And let's just do import and see what that does. There we go, very nice. And so awesome. imported that. So pretty straightforward to add things in. I think the image is a little funky here, but that's because it was stored as a URL and you might need to re-upload those images or something, but Great. yeah, but super, it's, super it's, flexible if, if you wanted to transfer over. Fantastic, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and start building out a Glide app here. So I'm gonna go over to uh, glideapps.com and I've already logged in over here, cool. So I have a fresh Glide account. Again, we're starting from scratch here so that you can follow along. And the goal here of what I'm trying to do is uh, for this simple example, I wanna be able to add pets to this table so that I can view them from my mobile phone, okay? Pretty straightforward. So we'll come to Glide and we'll start on a new project and let's call this Glide Pets. We'll do Glide App. And then for our source, we're going to select Airtable and continue. So right now, Glide is asking for my Airtable API key so that it can go and look at all of my Airtable data. So to grab that API key, if I go back to Airtable, I can come to my account here, the top right, and click on account. And then right here, there is an API key. And you can regenerate this API key if you need to, like I'm gonna copy this now. And then I can paste this API key back in Glide and then click on connect. And then now Glide went to Airtable and it's gonna say, which Airtable base do you wanna connect with? And I say pet medical history. And then I want to create an app from that. So just like that, I was able to quickly sync Glide to Airtable. And then now Glide is going to intelligently build an app based off the data inside of Airtable. So new columns found, do you want, let's say yes, I want Glide to do the work for me. And since this is a new account, it's giving me a tour. So that was the data editor. This is where I can edit what is seen inside of the app. And then I have all my settings. And then, and then second, we're going to publish it. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Very nice. So here, yeah, here we have the cute little pictures of our, of our animals there. And then we have other tabs for the medication and this extra table we added. So let's zero in so we keep this focused and let's only focus on our pets. So I'm gonna hide these other tabs for now. I could add stuff for those later. One of the things that I always teach when starting out with projects is start small. So we're gonna start with a simple use case of being able to view and add pets. So now we have our pets here and they are inside of a list, which you can see right here. And if I come over to the right-hand side, this is where we can edit the properties of this list. So right now the style is a list view. I wanna change that to a tile view so I can see up close my, my pet's cute faces. Let's change the tile to be a square and then we'll do two squares in a row. And actually let's just take these notes off for now. So we have each of our pets there. All right, so now we have a nice little um, gallery list view of our pets and we can click into those pets and we can see Max's and we can see the date of birth there. And we have a list of all the medications he's on. But let's just keep this pretty straightforward here. And I'm gonna remove that. And I wanna style this to only show, let's say the, the date of birth and my notes about my pet for now. I really like using a component called the table. And so I'm gonna add a new component in our components view over here by clicking on add and then click on basic table right here. And what this does is put a field name next to a field value. So we have like the, what it's called and what it is. And so I'm gonna pick out the date of birth here. Let's add in the action text. So I'm gonna use this action text and I'm gonna point this at the notes field. So we have that so we can see everything. And then just in case this gets 
to be too much. I want to remove the notes from here. All right, I'm done. I'm done tinkering. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now we have little Max here and I don't want to edit anything yet. Remember, we want to view and add pets. So I'm going to remove this little pencil icon here that allows me to edit. And I'll click on details, edit form, remove that. All right, so now we can view our pets. Cool. The second thing I wanted to do was add pets. So I'm gonna to go to my add button here and we can see we already have the name and we can upload an image. So let me add that in. So I'm gonna put an image. This is gonna add a title up above there. And I wanna make all of these required because what we're about to do, hint, hint, is I'm gonna have you guys add your pets in here so that we can all see everybody's pets. So I wanna make sure we add all this in. And so we'll just call this birthday and let's make birthday optional. I don't want to force you guys to go look up something that's going to take too long. All right. So now what we can do is let's just add in a test animal. So we'll have a name. We can choose a, an image. I'll do my chicken here. And then this is my chicken. Add. And so now we're able to add something new in the app. But the most powerful thing here, guys, is this is now back in my Airtable base. If I go back, you can see this has been added right here. And now we are now we have an app sitting on top of Airtable. Pretty cool, right? Fantastic. So now let's do what I just said. One thing I always forget to do that I want to do now is uh, just tweak the settings a little bit. So we'll, we'll leave it as Glide Pets, the name of the app. And then I want to change the logo to be a kitty cat. The appearance, this would be like your brand colors. We can do, go with orange, make it bold and turn that off. And let's change the font style. So we're just doing some quick style changes here. And then for privacy, I want to make sign in optional and anyone can sign in. I think that should be good for now. Now let's go through and publish this and see if you guys can add your pets. So we'll publish the app. Let me rename this app to glide-pets. Let's copy that and see what we're working with here. Excellent, and that was just, just about under, what was that, nine minutes? Nine minutes from zero to published app? Yes. That's pretty good, guy. I'm going to share screen now. Okay, thanks. So we've got a little QR code, and we just wanted to illustrate how effortless it is to take your Airtable database, build a beautiful interface uh, using Glide, and then have it instantly available on your phone. So here we go. Right, I'm going to give it a go to... So if you are brand new to Glide, just to, just to pitch a concept of how simple this is. So I've got my phone here. I'm gonna scan the QR code. Now what that's doing is taking me straight to the app, ready to be downloaded on the phone. And we have lots of fantastic documentation, uh, which I'll reference in a moment, just on how to get it installed. But essentially I can download, I can visit the link by the QR code, and then I've got the option to then add it to my home screen. I'm going to click add here and you will see that I've got the app right there, just like that. Yeah, we appreciate that was a very simple use case just to show you how, how quickly you can use the tools and connect the tools to start building an interface. Uh, Darren, you have a, 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 do you have anything to add on that before we move on to our, our second one? Yeah, while our people are doing that and we're seeing pets just populate live as we're as you were talking there it's it's pretty fun i'm going to change the name of my chicken to instead of test we'll just call this darren's chicken just so everybody knows so as you guys are in there adding stuff whatever data you're adding through the glide app is coming in to Airtable in real time um, and then getting surfaced to everybody else that's using the app um, it's, it's just really really powerful um, so while you guys are doing that, we'll take a look at the pets uh, in a second. I did want to touch on two other, those two other kind of superpowers that I talked about earlier with using Airtable. So the first thing that I wanted to touch on uh, were, is over here in the top right, we have automations and apps. 
So an automation is um, like something that get done, gets done automatically. And these are built in into Airtable and you can do different things. Um, one thing that I thought was cool when I was prepping this was you can see here uh, when date of birth is today posts to Twitter. So that would be like if you wanted to post a tweet for your pet on their birthday or, you know, that'd be, you know, it's, a, it's something cute. But think about if you had like an employee database and you had all of their birthdays in there, well, then you could give them a shout out automatically, uh, you know, right from, right from Airtable. I thought that was a cool use case. So that's where automations are. And then you, you can extend Airtable more with apps. These are similar to Google Sheet add-ons if you're familiar with those. And then I also wanted to show you where that built-in API is for those of you that are more technical. Um, if I come to help right here, I can scroll all the way down and there's a section down here called API documentation. And what this does is brings me to Airtable's API view and all the documentation that's automatically generated based off my data. And they have tabs in here as far as like authenticating. And here we can see our pets and we'll just lightly touch on this. If I wanted to get a list of all of my pets, then I could just copy this link right here, paste that into my API service, and then it would return a JSON style list of all of my pets. So for those of you that are more technically minded, that, that, uh, that example is for you. Fantastic. So we have another use case that we would love to show you around a, an activity tracker. Just yes. give it a moment for Darren just to get the screen up there. There are many, many use cases for Airtable, all of which you can uh, explore further by visiting the, the template store uh, for Airtable. Once Darren has showed the second use case, we will be talking about also uh, ways to explore the common conversation further just around Airtable and various use cases in the community. But Darren, over to you, sir. Yeah, so that was a fun, you know, use case talking about our pets that we all love. And we'll, we'll look at those, look at all these pictures in a little bit. But I wanted to share something that's maybe more at home with like a, a business use case. So again, we're going to start from a template so that people can follow along if they want. So I'm back here in the Airtable uh, template page. And what I'm going to build on top of is this simple applicant tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in to that and then copy this template to my account. So the use case here is you have open positions for your job and you have people that are interviewing for it. And what we wanna do is build a really simple interface for people to add notes when they're interviewing these people for these positions. So you can think about if you're at like a job fair, you might have a tablet in your hand you don't wanna be on your computer typing things into your Airtable base. You might just want a simple little um, app to add in notes about the person you're interviewing. So again, here we have multiple tabs uh, or multiple tables within this Airtable base, but we're gonna zero in on the applicants uh, table here. And one thing that I am going to do is uh, this attachments field here, Airtable has this co cool feature where they allow you to add in multiple attachments in a single field. But with Glide, we actually want these in two separate fields so that we can like upload an image into one and then upload a resume into the other. So really quickly, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this just so that we're not having to uh, come back and do this later. So I'm gonna duplicate this column and then I'll rename this to image and then rename this one to resume. So each one of our applicants will have their own image and then their own resume. So in this image column, let me remove the resume for each of these. And then in our resume, let me remove the images. All right, so now we can see, let's just kind of look over here. We have the uh, applicant's name, uh, their stage, what they're applying for, their image, their resume, their contact information. And then over here to the right, this is the data that we actually want our interviewers to be able to update, which is the date of the interview, how they did, some notes about um, the applicant. And they have kind of two phases. They have a phone interview and an on-site interview. 
So let's build a simple app that we could use on a tablet to update the interview notes. So I'll go back to Glide and here's my Glide Pets app that we just created. Let's go ahead and create a new project and we'll call this applicants and Airtable as our data source. Simple applicant tracker, that's our base. Nice, all right, so yes, automatically do all the work for me. And then now out of the box, we have uh, different tabs for our data. So Glide's recognized the different positions. This is a mascot application. So you have lead mascot and then concessions mascot. And there's data built in for those. We have our applicants with their pictures. And we also have our interviewers as well. So let's zero in on our applicants because that's the data we're wanting to update. And then I mentioned wanting to do this on a tablet. So we can actually change this view to a tablet view uh, of what it would look like if you're using this on a tablet. So I'll just do up here at the top. Let me switch over to the tablet icon here. And now whenever I click on an applicant, I see all of their data here on the right side. It's just so amazing. This is one, one of many things I love about Glide, but you know, starting a project and having it put all that data together for you and put together like a, a Kickstarter interface, if you like, it's just amazing. So we have like an image, we have their resume here that's linked. We could click on that and that would, uh, looks like it's downloading the resume. Um, but if that was like a PDF, we could open it up in here in the web view anyways. So we have their contact information. And what we wanted to update were their interview dates and notes and all that good stuff. So let me delete these last few items here because we'll add these in so that they are editable. And the first thing we wanted to edit, let's say is, say, is the date of the interview. So I'm gonna add in a component that is called a date picker that allows me to change the date. So a date picker. And there's the phone interview. So now I can click here. And let's say we change this to the 15th, press OK. And so now when we go back to Airtable, that should update. Boom, you saw it right there. That green box says, hey, this was just updated. So we're updating in real time. And then we had the notes. So if I want to update somebody's notes, I want to enter in some text. So We'll add a text entry component right here. And let's change this to, instead of the interview score, let's change this to phone interview notes and make this a little bigger. So this person did good. We want to move to in-person for them. And then um, the last thing that we wanted to update was the phone interview score. So. This is uh, just a, a touch of an advanced topic for you if you're looking to integrate Airtable and Glide. Um, Airtable has a field type called single select. So if we go to the field type, you can see here, um, there's all kinds of field types here, but um, Airtable has single select. Single select allows you to define drop down options within the field. Glide, in Glide, we do this a little bit differently. In Glide, we create another table with those dropdowns values at this time. So I'm gonna show you in Glide, the data editor. This is Glide's representation of your Airtable base. And if you'll just trek with me really quickly here, I'm gonna add a new table. And this is very common if you're working with Glide apps. We're gonna add a new table just for choices or dropdowns, or we call it options. And we'll rename this to interview score. And so now if I want to update that, that drop down from within the app, I need those options to be in this table. So I know there were five options. So let me go ahead and copy these over here. All right, so now we have the options here. And so now we can use them in our Glide app. So if we go back to the layout of our app here, let me click back into J Monroe. And I want to add in a, a drop down to adjust the score. And in Glide, we call that a choice component, a choice picker. 
And I'll just paste that in there. And now let's adjust the properties for this. So we have the name of the, or the title. Let's leave that because Glide will adjust that. What are, where do we wanna store this data? We wanna store it in phone interview score. And then where's this data coming from? The content that's coming from our newly created choices table. And then the value that, or the column we're pulling values from is called interview score. And so now we have a drop down where we can pick the score for that user. So to sum that up, whenever you have a drop down inside of Airtable, you want to use a choice component inside of Glide and then have those choices stored in a, another table inside of um, the Glide data editor. So if we wanted to quickly, we'll do last thing, we have the phone interview here. We might also want to add in places to update the uh, on-site interview. So if they get approval to go to the on-site interview, I'll just duplicate it, that date picker, choice component, text entry, and let's switch these over to the on-site interview date, the on-site interview score, and then the on-site interview notes. And then now, whenever I make updates, um, those updates are reflected inside of Airtable. Very smooth. So thank you, Darren. That was great. We really learned a lot there. We did cover also a lot. So uh, if you're getting to grips with building uh, with Glide and Airtable and need some assistance, there's a steadily growing collection of step-by-step -step articles and videos on how to do this over in our Glide library, curated and beautifully put together by our wonderful content lead, Mr. Jack Vaughan. Um, where can you find this? If you go to our website, you will find it in the menu. Just click uh, documentation or video guides to get started. You can also hire and connect with talented individuals like Mr. Darren Alderman to help you with any Airtable projects. All of our certified experts are independent professional Glide developers, and they can help fast track you with your projects and help you overcome any hurdles you might be facing. They're a very friendly and wonderful bunch. Um, they can also build out your project end to end if that's something that you're looking for. So please do draw on, on them. Uh, we have a directory of experts listed on our website and you can also connect with experts in our wonderful community. Um, I'm slightly biased, uh, but I do think we do have the best and most supportive, supportive and responsive community on the web. We haven't delved into all the magic that Glide and Airtable as a data source has to offer, as Darren rightly pointed out. Uh, but if you do have a question or if there are things that we miss that you feel that would be of huge benefit to other gliders, let's keep the conversation going. Please do create a post uh, in our wonderful community forum. Again, you can find that on our website just under the menu. Uh, it's also a fantastic opportunity to learn, uh, for us to learn your insights and further break open uh, the conversation around these topics. As I mentioned, our experts, our ambassadors, our wonderful community leaders can help uh, guide, support, educate, brainstorm different ideas with you uh, to help you take your Glide and Airtable project to the next level. It's a no-brainer to sign up to our, our community. That was really fantastic. Thank you very much once again, uh, Darren. I really, really enjoyed this session. It was very wonderful to, to also see some of your pets as well. Um, as always, please do hit us up. It's community.glideapps.com uh, and we will be able to further uh, the conversation around Airtable, also around use cases for Airtable and Glide. We would love to learn uh, what you're building. Thank you very, very much for joining everybody and really look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thanks everyone.